Hello, what's up? Ali here for our PS3 hand tutorial video. On this video, we are going to show you how we can install hand on our PS3 version 4.90 and lower. If you are on 4.84 to 4.89, you can still stay on that firmware, follow this video, and still be able to install hand. All you need is the exact hybrid firmware version. But it is highly advisable to update to this version, especially if you are not that familiar with how the update works. Because there are always some perks if you are on the latest firmware and you don't have to worry about accidental or automatic updates. Because if you are using an exploit, whether you are on any console or system, you cannot have an official update. So if you are on the latest former, you don't have to worry about these accidental automatic updates. And before we proceed to the actual video, let me just answer what exactly is HEN and why do we need HEN? Well, we need an exploit to be able to fully optimize our PS3, especially if you want to download games. And if you want to exploit your PS3, we actually have two major options. We have the HEN or the Homebrew Enabler and the CFW. Though the complete jailbreak is the CFW, but it is restricted to specific model of PS3, while HEN is compatible with all PS3 model. And uh, though you are missing some functions and features with HEN, but it is so much easier to install HEN compared to CFW, and that is the reason why there are other users, even though they have a PS3 that is compatible with the CFW, they still prefer using HEN. So even though you are not familiar with how this exploit works, just follow this video and you will be able to install HEN with minimal to no issues at all. So let us start now with preparing the requirements for this video. First, we need our PS3 on version at least 4.84 to 4.90. Then we need the USB cable that will connect the controller to our PS3. We need the USB or external hard drive that we can use to update our PS3 and an internet connection and lastly before we proceed i strongly recommend to check your ps3 first if its bluetooth module is working because uh, since we are going to go through some updates and we cannot update a ps3 with a broken bluetooth module if we update our ps3 with a busted bluetooth module we will run into a update loop and we won't be able to continue that update until we are able to uh, fix that hardware issue so how do we know if uh, we have a working bluetooth that is actually very easy all you have to do is just connect your controller if your controllers can connect wirelessly without uh, the connector then uh, that means that you have a, a working bluetooth module you can go ahead and proceed with this video so let us go ahead and start with downloading all of the files that we are going to need let us start with hfw or the hybrid firmware you'll find the link on our description and it will take you to psx place a place where you can find lots of useful playstation related stuff and uh, since hybrid firmware is uh, the window to all ps3 exploit you may definitely need this in the future, so I strongly recommend uh, safely store this copy even after this exploit. And uh, just scroll down a little and click on this area. It will direct you to a mega link file. And download by clicking this one. And since I have already downloaded this, I can just go ahead and click on save. Next is the Multiman. Multiman is one of the homebrew for the PS3. It is the best game manager that you can have. This will house your PS3 games and if you use external hard drive, you will find them inside your Multiman. So just scroll down a little. Again, you will find the link on our description and click on this area for the Multiman base to download the file. Now for an optional but highly recommended is a Webman mod for the PS3. This will provide a corporate support for your hand and you will also be able to adjust your control fan along with other useful stuff. Later, I will show you how you can optimize this application and just scroll down a little and you can download the link by clicking on this area. Now, once you have all of the files needed, we can go ahead and prepare our USB or external hard drive to be used for the update and our application. I'm going to use a USB flash drive for this video. First, we have to make sure that it is properly formatted to FAT32. I click on the drive and click on properties and you will see the file system here if it's fat 32 then you can use it if it's not yet on fat 32 you can simply right click on the drive click on format 
and just choose share file system fast 32 keep in mind that if you format your hard drive or your storage you are definitely wiping all of the data so make sure you back up all of the important data first before you go ahead and format but this will only work on usb that has a capacity of 32 gig and lower if you have a usb that is on 64 gig and higher you will have to use a different formatter to be able to format your usb thumb drive to fast 32 for that i strongly recommend rufus to download Rufus, you will uh, find uh, the link on our description. Scroll down and uh, download this by clicking on this. The good thing with Rufus is you don't have uh, to install uh, this application. Just download the application and you can simply run the program. Again, uh, you will only need this if you have a USB thumb drive that is above a 64 gig. So here on the device, uh, click here the drive that you want to format. Here on the boot selection, click on non-bootable file system is fast 32 then click on start again uh, always make sure that you are ready to format your hard drive before you start uh, formatting uh, your storage device once you have uh, properly set up your usb create a folder naming ps3 on the root of your hard drive then inside this folder create another folder update all capitalized and here in this folder update, we are going to place uh, the hybrid firmware that we have just downloaded. In the download folder, you will find here another folder that has uh, these characters. This is the MD5 of this update. So if you want to make sure that you have uh, the correct update, you will have uh, to run a MD5 check on your file and make sure that it will match uh, this one to make sure that you have uh, the correct update. To do that, I will leave a link on our description for the online MD5 checker. You will find the link on our description and it will take you to this website. So just open the update file. You can go ahead and drag and drop this here. It will check the file. And this one should match the file. This is like the ID of the file. Here you can verify that you have the correct update file for the exploit. And since this one matches, we can go ahead and use this file to update to hybrid firmware 4.90. Now let's go ahead and copy this inside the update folder. Now let's go back to our PS3 and prepare for the update. On the PS3, first we have to make sure that our PS3 can recognize our USB. And to verify that, we should see the USB icon here on the video, or on the music, or on the photos. If you don't see the USB icon here, then unfortunately, your PS3 could not detect that your USB or your external hard drive. I will just leave a link on our description for our video how to properly format our storage to FAT32 in case you encounter some issues. Just follow that video and then you will be able to use that to update your PS3. So once your PS3 can recognize your hard drive, now let's go to the system update, update via storage media. And here we will see the update file saved on our USB. So we should see here 4.90 hybrid firmware. So once you are all set and you have verified that your PS3 don't have any issues with the Bluetooth, you can go ahead and enter. Follow this whole procedure. Click on start and just wait for your PS3 to finish the update. And if you are getting an issue updating your PS3 using this method, then just use safe mode to update your PS3. I will just also leave a link on our description for our video how to go to safe mode or how to update our PS3 using the safe mode. After the update, your PS3 will reboot and uh, it's all set for the HANA but it is highly recommended to install HFW twice before we install any export on our PS3. So to be safe, I'll just go ahead and reinstall HEN for the second time. And if ever you get the message that you are already on that former version, you can simply use safe mode to update to that version.
after the update we can now go ahead and install hand but just for a safety precautions it is also advisable to turn off the automatic update you will find that here in the system setting then the automatic update it should be turned to off and now for the hen we'll start with the official and the safest way but later we'll also show you some alternative host to install hen since for the past months our official host has gone through some issues and it may become unavailable again in the future so in case you are following this video and you cannot access the official host you may still try our other host or alternate host to install hen for hen it is required to have an internet connection so we have to make sure that we are properly connected first here on the network settings internet connection settings then just click here easy then run a test connection you have to make sure that you are properly connected to the internet before you can install hana so you don't have to worry about the psn as long as uh, you have uh, succeeded in the internet connection you may go now to the internet browser and start preparing for the installation of hana first let us press triangle tools confirm browser close is off then back to tools home page use blank then okay then back on tools then delete everything that has a delete then let us exit the internet browser and enter the browser again press start and enter this following address This is the official host for our PS3 exploiter. So in case there has a time that uh, this host has become unavailable, I will uh, just update on our descriptions. So before we try uh, using any alternate host to install hen, we should try this first, the official host for our PS3 exploit. And now to install hen, go on the upper tabs, select PS3 hen, then click on auto hen installer. And if you are getting an issue here installing HEN, here's what you can do to improve the success rate of installing HEN. First, click on Triangle. Delete everything again. Close the window. Then return to the browser. And it is advisable to enter the HEN installer from the history of the browser. To do that, press Triangle. Then click on history and click on auto hand installer or hand auto installer now we can go ahead and uh, try installing hand again if you get this message just go ahead and click on do not save then click on auto hand installer you should have a better success rate if not an automatic installation of hand After the download, it will automatically install. After the installation, your PS3 will automatically reboot and you will see here the hand icon. Now, if you want to enable your hand, just simply click on this icon and it will automatically activate your hand. Once you see this message, you have successfully installed hand. Now to complete your installation, just go to the package manager install package files and standard here you will see all the pkgs or files are saved in your usb thumb drive let's go ahead now and install multiman next is the webman And for the webman to work, we still have uh, to run this application. Now, after installing webman, your PS3 will once again reboot. Now, let's go ahead and enable our hand again. You will have uh, to enable your hand every time uh, you have uh, to reboot your PS3. 
after activating hand we will see more tools on our psd because of the webman now we can go ahead and delete this one by the way if you're having some issues activating your hand on this version just press r2 while activating hand one of the best features that webman has is that it has the ability to adjust the control fan or the fan speed of your ps3 with this you can prevent overheating so you don't need an external fan all you have to do is adjust the fan speed of your ps3 and that you can prevent overheating to do that just go to the ps3 webman setup and you'll have a control here to adjust it manually or automatically but i always prefer setting it at auto at 64 degrees then click on auto and once you are satisfied you can go ahead and click on save now let's go ahead and check our multiman unfortunately i don't have any games installed here yet but if you have any dump or iso games you will find it here in multiman and if you have an external hard drive that is also loaded with games just plug it in your PS3 and the games will show here. Aside from Multiman and Webman, there are a lot of extra stuff you can do and install on your PS3 once it's already jailbroken. Now let's go ahead now and show you some alternative ways to install hand in case our main PS3 exploit host become unavailable. Basically the process are still the same, you'll just have to go to a different website. And one of the best alternate hosts that you can check in case our main host becomes unavailable is this website or this address, ps3addict.github.io. This is a collection of other alternate hosts that has been tested and working. Here you can choose hand auto installer. Or the alternate installers i will just give a link on our description regarding on a video how to use alternate hand installers there are other alternate hosts that you can use but unfortunately there are others that may cause harm on your ps3 so i strongly recommend to first use the main host or this alternate host but before you install any export on your ps3 make sure that you have installed the hybrid firmware first and if ever comes a time that a new update has been released by Sony, I will just update the tools and the information on our description in case we can still use uh, this procedure to install HANA on future updates. Now, if you have a PS3 that is compatible with CFW, we also have a different video how to install CFW on your PS3. But it can only work on a specific model if you're just new with the PS3 exploit scene to be safe or for starters you can just go ahead and start out with the ps3 hand you can play almost all ps3 games uh, as well as some emulators uh, the only drawback here is you will have uh, to activate the hand every time you have uh, to use uh, your homebrew so this is it for our video if you have any concerns or questions that we have failed to discuss please go ahead and share them on our comment section and i will definitely address them and if there are anything you would like to share or add on our video please go ahead and share them also on our comment section and again this is ali if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.